In this short video on Excel, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to insert and delete rows and columns. If you wish to insert a row or a column, you're going to come up into the header area, either at the top of the worksheet or to the left of the worksheet. Once you're in the header area, you can go ahead and right click on the letter that represents it or the number, which in this case I'm going to, is D. I'm going to right click on D and you'll see I have an option there for insert. When I click insert, it inserts a blank column before whatever it is I right clicked on. And let's say I want to insert a row in between 5 and 6. I could right click on the 6 and then select insert and I get a new blank row in my Excel document. Deleting is just as simple. I can right click on the letter D here and select delete and you'll see that that item is gone. I can right click on the number 6 here and select D, delete and that is gone. So very easy to insert and delete rows and columns. The one thing you will want to remember is that whenever you insert a column or row it's always going to go before whatever you had selected. So again in the case of column D, before would put the new column in between February and March. So I'll right click on D and select insert and you'll see there's a new blank column in between February and March. And let me go ahead and delete that again. And again if I wanted to insert something in between Larry and Curly I would right click on the 6 and select insert and you'll see that that row is inserted above whatever it is you right clicked on. If you'd like to see more Excel tutorials and videos, go ahead and visit our website at www.learnexcelfunctions.com um, and you can also download this uh, practice workbook if you'd like.